Hi guys, and welcome back to our vanilla City Skylines Let's Play. Last episode, we began work on our first city centre university campus, and off camera, it's gone up a few levels now. Uh, and it's starting to come together, uh, get a nice little bird's eye view of it here. Obviously, we've still got a lot of these kind of empty green spaces, but as we unlock the new buildings, uh, these will become populated with various different obvious kind of upgrades like we've got the cafeteria down here we've unlocked a couple of the fountains and then we've also got kind of like the graduation ceremony building up here kind of at the point of this little arm that comes out so it starts to look quite nice now i'm enjoying it and um, added in a public library and we've also drawn in um kind of a fence around it and changed the model of the bus line here uh to actually appear as a school bus although as a university i don't know if that's really appropriate but it seems to be working okay. Anyway, uh, today's episode, I just wanted to go off camera and try and hit this next milestone because we are super close to it now and it's going to give us our cargo hubs and nuclear power plants, um, which is what we need to finish off our coastal industry area down here. And then we also want to kind of rejig our power section to make it look a little more realistic rather than just having them all slammed into one. And I do want to upgrade our city entirely into nuclear power. So hopefully we can do that today as well. Uh, we've left this parkland along this front relatively untouched for a while. Uh, and I just wanted to kind of do something with this today as well. Um, so I'm just going to unzone this guy and then probably these guys as well. Let's get rid of them. Uh, and then probably these two. We'll leave them there for the minute. Uh, so just off camera, I've drawn in some uh, tram lines. So this road and network down to the bottom of the road there. Uh, around the back and all up here and across this roundabout. Um, have been upgraded into uh, tram lines. So I'm hoping that we can I think this will squeeze in just about here. Yeah, it will. That'll fit in nicely. Uh, we obviously don't need that bit anymore. Or is it complaining that he is? Yeah, he does need it, doesn't he? Yeah, okay. There we go. Uh, I just wonder if we can get away with that being normal road. Because that flashing icon is going to annoy me. Uh, okay, so let's start off by putting in some tram lines here. Um, so we'll start off by bringing them... We'll have one stop here outside the park. And then come down. And then I want like a little tram interchange here where they can stop off. And further down here. Here and here. And then we'll bring them in through the residential area. And then back into town and complete that line just up there. Now I'm wondering if we can maybe get these connected with these tram lines over here. And um, whether or not that's a kind of a a realistic thing to do, I'm not entirely sure whether or not trams will travel that kind of distance, but we can maybe try it. Um can we bring this guy out here? Is he gonna get under there though? Yeah he can. Okay, so let's try this. I'm not sure if they, can these go underground? Yeah, they can. Although he isn't going to be able to get past the canal, is he? Or the subway? Yeah, so that's not going to work. And um, we'll probably just leave this line as its own little independent thing. Or maybe we could actually put some tram lines through the rest of this part of the city. Um, I wonder if I can get a bridge over here. Yeah, we can. Okay. Um, let's bring it up to here. And then this kind of area here is now going to start being developed with housing and whatnot. Um, because it's just kind of empty space at the minute and it's kind of things we can use for... Okay, let's connect this guy up and over here. And then we'll have a couple of tram lines. Let's loop back. And then what we'll do is, is we'll kind of turn this into a little park area. And let's just delete some of these trees around here. We need to find a new place for these power lines as well. We'll try and do that. Uh, okay, let me delete this, and then we're going to pop in 
um, a plaza or a park of some kind. Uh, maybe let's go for a couple of these. There we go, and then we'll just readjust this road. Uh, there we go. Okay, and then we'll have our uh, tram lines travel behind it. There we go. Okay, so we'll pick people up um, at the front here. And then he can come around the back and grab some folks as well. And then he's going to head back into town. He's going to grab people here. Here. And then he's going to come back through the other side of this interchange. Uh, and then he's going to come back through here. And that should complete that line. How useful that line will be, I'm not too sure. But it would be quite cool to see some trams going over the canal. Uh, let's have a look at the details here. Okay, so it is getting use. That's nice to see. Uh, maybe we could also send some trams down into the university area. Uh, maybe pop a little tram interchange down here. Let's try that. Because um, we haven't really used trams since we first started this city. I'm going to have to move this high school. Um, let's pop it along here just for now. We'll reposition that later. Although I can almost guarantee I'm going to forget. Okay. Um, and then... Down here, and I'll grab some more tram tracks. Uh, I just want the tram lines for this. So this will be a nice little way for us to serve the university district. Okay, let's drop people there. Uh, and then just kind of at these points where they can cross into the university path. Uh, one down there. And then he can mirror the stops of the other line. Heading back this way. And then he can stop here. And then we'll alternate the stops coming back. And then mirror the ones on this road. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get some paths to connect up to this. There we go, just so they've got a little bit of connectivity. Super. Uh, let's maybe decorate this with a few trees. Can't want to delete these ones as well. I really wish there was a brush to mass delete trees in the vanilla game, but nothing's perfect. Okay, let's grab some props. How about a little gazebo in here? Uh, and then a couple of park benches along the front. Have a little congregation area. And they can have a trash can. Maybe a little fountain. Is that a bird bath? Looks like a bird bath. Have a small fountain here. And then they can have some street lights in each corner. And then one next to the gazebo. And then we'll grab some bushes as well. And how about a little path that just connects each side of them? Can we actually. Yeah, okay. That should do nicely. Uh, okay, so this place needs a little bit of sprucing up. There's kind of a lot of dead space here at the moment. Uh, let me just have one that runs across them. And then down the middle. And we'll decorate these areas with some little trees as well. Okay, so these guys are getting backed up. Let's bring the tram count down a minute. 
because yeah, there's not a vast amount of people using these stops yet so we'll drop it down to just a few trams per line this one's relatively busy though that can stay as four uh, okay let's go ahead and decorate this um, how about use some flower trees we get four in each one can't we and we'll change the flower tree up kind of per section that was a little bit off counting there Hopefully we'll see a lot of people kind of coming and going through these little paths. That'd be nice to see. Uh, sugar maple. How does that look? Now let's keep it nice and colourful. Uh, let's go for a flower tree too. We also haven't really built, well we haven't built, full stop, um, a national park or a zoo yet. Um, and we've got, I think, three more map tiles um, before we kind of can't unlock any more. Um, so we're probably going to try and squeeze the national park in relatively far away from the city. Uh, and as I do live in a national park myself, I'm quite keen to almost recreate the one that I am currently residing in. Um, but we'll have to see. Now we'll just drop some bushes along this edge here. And then back up into town. Okay. Uh, I also want to grab a double lane road here. Uh, and then connect this up to there. Because I want some... What zoned industry is this in? Okay, so this is all renewable green city stuff, isn't it? Uh, let's give people a reason to use this. So we're going to make a new zone here. Um, let's just knock this back up to there. And then just as close as we can get it. And then we'll start painting in a new zone. And this can be leisure. So it's going to give people a reason to actually use the trams. If they can actually come here for like a night out or whatever. Uh, okay, let's grab a leisure specialization. And then we'll zone this up. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Boom. Okay, and then we'll pop a path through the middle. So it's almost like a little... I just want the small one, I think. Uh, let's pop it through there. Okay, then I also want to do something here. Let's see if we can bring this up. Almost make like a little mini park here. Let's see if we can drop some. Okay, well, we'll put that in. And then we'll actually expand off of that with our dirt paths. Uh, let's bring one up here. And then cross that into there. And then we'll just fill that out with trees. I think it's a nice idea. If you do have some of this like dead empty space, it's just... Uh, Plop in one of the vanilla assets where you can drag the paths off. I think the large playground um, and the park with trees you can also draw paths onto. Um, and it's just a nice way of kind of filling in these more empty spaces that we've got. So we're popping a couple of lights along here. Uh, we haven't actually done kind of a night tour of the city. Uh, let's actually do that now. Let's pop the day-night feature on. Um, just so we can kind of see what our city looks like in the night time now. Uh, okay, this kind of this place here needs another path, I think. Um, see if we can't get it to land in that one. There we go. Can't get that to connect without snapping off. There we go. And then we can also connect it up to this one here as well, so the cyclists um, that are coming and going can get into the town. And we'll fill these little dots that have appeared between them as well with a couple of trees. Okay, so this is already looking much better. I uh, kind of need to figure out what we're going to do with this here. Um, maybe we should just keep this as empty space as well. Uh, let's pop snapping back on. 
Maybe we got some buildings in here too. And we'll just paint the stone in so this becomes uh, the renewable green city stuff. Okay, so we've got a lot of people using this line at the moment. Well, not 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 vast amounts, but yeah, I like the way that looks. I like these little tram interchanges where a lot of tram lines cross over. Um, I kind of wish we'd have made room for this over in Glebe Park, because um, we kind of have a similar concept here with the trams coming and going and dropping people off. Uh, I'll tell you what I do want to do. Um, let's go ahead and. Go into the props and grab some flower beds. I'm pretty sure uh, that they are in here. Where are they? Here they are. Okay, so we'll do something similar. Yeah, these guys are moaning of no power. That's fine. Don't worry, we'll, f we'll fix you in a moment. And that also needs upgrading, doesn't it? Uh, or does it? No, these don't even need to be. Um, so we grade these into treed roads and then they can just walk up. We also need to reconnect our cycle highway. Uh, let's just bring us down there. Okay, so that gives people access to the cycle highway. How are we doing for traffic here? Yeah, there is quite a few interchanges going on, so I'll have to keep our eye on that. Okay, let's reconnect our um, pathway up here. This guy can pop onto the roundabout and the tram depot and then it's also going to carry on oh it's about there and that should connect up nicely the lighting is super strange at the moment is that because we're going to night time there's almost like a haze over the screen isn't there oh yeah and the city comes to life like if you guys would prefer me to play with the day night cycle on uh, it really does kind of show your city in a different light and what things look like. Like, look at this park now. We've got these little lights in here. It just looks a lot nicer, in my opinion, when it's night time. you got all these kind of neon lights flying around in this new part of town. Yeah, I really do enjoy it. So, let me know if it's annoying for you, because it might be really dark once YouTube has processed the video. Um, but I can always maybe try and uh, boost the in-game brightness. A university district at night time is looking sweet. So let's pop the UI off here. Have a little swing by some of the buildings. Yes, yeah, this place looks awesome when it's, once it's fully done. Track and field stadiums all lit up. There's the people. There's a game on right now. Track and field during the night time. Also need to do something with this. This was just kind of a temporary fix to handle all the dead people, but it now needs to be removed and moved elsewhere because it does not fit in with the aesthetic of the city at all. Oh, and this place is looking awesome. How about that? How about that? Yeah. That looks cool. I'm so happy with the way the city is turning out. Uh, and apparently you guys are as well. We had a comment last episode uh, from Ever again. Thank you very much for interacting with the videos, dude. It's much appreciated. Um, that people are enjoying the way the city is coming on now. I'm getting a few likes on the videos. So thanks for all the support on the channel, uh, first of all. But also I'm glad you're enjoying the way the city is coming on as well. Uh, we're, we're learning and practicing all the time. But yeah, I'm, I'm liking it a lot. I really am. Yeah, how about this side of town? 
No, one of the big buildings down here. And our transport hub as well. Super duper. Love it. Love it a lot. Uh, this might be an issue. It's a little bit of a short junction. Also added some zoning in along here as well off camera. Just to fill in these areas. Uh, okay. What else can we do over here? So we've got kind of more empty space along here. Maybe we can get in um, a nice big long front of commercial. There we go. And I'll pop that in down there as well. Uh, how's this side looking? Uh, so we've got some people waiting for the trams here as well. We'll also plop some zone in down here, maybe two. Just try and bulk that area out a little bit. Uh, is this going to fall into the leisure stuff? Okay, I don't know why it won't let me paint more of that Chester district out. I'm not sure why that is. But they are becoming under the, the uh, leisure specialisation anyway. So again, hopefully making this area a little more dense and higher populated will give people more calls to use these tram lines uh, back and to into different areas of the city. And Fremwood Tech is looking really nice now as well. It's kind of hit its limit. We added in the School of Tourism and Travel. Uh, how is it doing for levelling up? Oh, Magic Park has levelled up to level 5 as well. Super. Um, okay, so Fremwood Tech needs a lot more student capacity. Um, let's see if we can squeeze some room in for dormitories anywhere along here. Those guys are just a little bit too... Too close together for me to squeeze another one in. Yeah, it's kind of hit its limit, hasn't it, really? There isn't much room for... We can add in another one there, maybe. It kind of just rounds off that corner nicely. And those students are just off campus. Okay. also want to connect these areas up as well somehow. But that's a job for another episode. Let's carry on with what we were doing before I get too distracted. Yeah, okay, so we've got a nice little kind of railway shop front down here now. I'm liking the way that looks. And then we've got these people taking the uh, kind of public highway. Okay. So we've populated most of this area here. We've still got a couple of spaces down here. How about a bas uh, basketball court? Yeah, that'll fit in nicely. And are these guys fully upgraded? No, but they are very nearly. So hopefully with those additions, we should ha start hearing a little dinging upgrade noise very shortly. And how about a, a tropical garden? Get this in maybe just here, and then we'll just readjust. If we do pop that there, um, no, will this fit here? No, it's just a little bit, a little bit too big. However, the Japanese garden will fit in, so we'll plop that in instead, and then delete this. And then we can just plop our highway back in over here. And then maybe down here as well. We'll just give people... Uh, so maybe we can just do this place with trees. Uh, some bigger ones, maybe the, um, the small beach ones. We've used these a lot throughout the city. I'm just kind of throwing a general guideline. 
and along the back of these shops as well. Uh, and then sure, let's drag in another block of residential here. guys doing for fire protection oh yeah not very good it's plotting in here and how about police do you have where's the nearest police station to here and apparently Fremwood tech is riddled with crime oh pop in a police station as well and these guys are so close to being finally upgraded I'm liking the way this shot is now along here Kind of along the highway, you've got all these nice kind of high-rise modern flats. I do like it a lot. There we go, that should stop them from moaning. Cool. Uh, okay, let's do something with this area now. Um, I think I want some... Some low-density residential around here. I know I'm aware that I've just deleted that power line again. There we go. I'm just trying to position these curves alongside the canal as best that I can. Uh, and then maybe let's make this a tram line so it'll go through uh, and I'll have one that comes up through here and connects and then up through here again and then a little kind of cul-de-sac just to sit down here is this place I need water So sorry if this episode doesn't feel tremendously exciting. Um, I just wanted to kind of go ahead and fill in some of these little island spaces that we've got over here. Um, okay, let's delete that one. And we can delete this one too. Okay, how about if we get some little... See, can I get a bridge over here? Yeah, we can that way, but not this way. Hopefully you can see what I'm thinking here. In terms of a little isolated canal community. I think that'd be quite cool. Let's feed these guys up with water. And then let's get some... I wonder if we want this to be renewable green energy housing again. I think we do. Uh, let's paint the rest of the district out here. There's, let's bring it up and over this island. I do still want to do something with this canal. Um, I know many moons ago I threatened to do a ferry line through here. Um, and that could still be on the cards, but I'm just not sure. I did actually kind of plan for one here. Um, so maybe we can, maybe we can do that. Uh, let's try and see if we can pop in. Um, a ferry stop. This is the stop, isn't it? Yeah. The what requirements does it need? Will it actually fit on here? Space already occupied. Okay, so it will fit on there, which is kind of perfect for what we need. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our ferry depot here. Uh, and we'll plop this back. 
I'll just delete these roads. We'll make this area look a little bit nicer. Of course, but for right now, I just want to see if we can have some kind of functioning ferry line. Um, okay, so let's connect that one up. Maybe we can do one further down here as well. Might be an idea. And then maybe uh, down on this front as well. Uh, okay, so we'll... Okay, so we can only create... So we need somewhere else for them to go. Um... I bet that bridge is going to be too short, isn't it? So let's pop it on. Let's pop it on these side for these guys. And then we're going to drag our ferry line down there. Create a stop. Add a stop. And complete the line. So we need to give these guys a road connection as well. How about to there? And then we'll just bring that up into there as well. And then this guy can come down. We'll tidy all that up at a later date. For right now, I just want to see these ferries working. Okay, we don't need four. Let's knock it down to two. Four might be a little bit overkill. But I really want to see these ferries flowing through this part of town. Um, let's get our residential canal island done. And then all these guys as well can be residential. I have a little mini suburb on the outskirts of the major city. Uh, we'll actually leave this one as commercial. And do that one as well. And then all these back spaces along here will be residential. We'll make our little commercial centre just down here. And then we'll grab a path. Uh, we'll, we'll leave it dirt. And just cut it through the middle. Just like this. And that does connect up relatively nicely. And how about some commercial along the front here as well. Just some little two grid deep locations. And then along here. We'll leave that in section open actually because it's already busy enough as it is. Okay, let's watch this place grow. How the ferries... Oh, here comes one of the ferries. Apparently so. I'm not sure how they're making that. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that turning circle. There's no one using them yet. I mean, look at this. Come on, move, ferry. Look at that. No fucks given. <laughs> I think that's the funniest thing I've ever seen in cities. Uh, so no one's using them at the moment. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe we need to put... Um, Maybe we need some stops further down here. Uh, maybe we can put one in the park. Uh, let's try and do that now. Oh, that was funny. Uh, okay, let's pop one there. Uh, and then we'll have one in the park here. Uh, maybe on this side as well. Uh, let's see where would be the best place for it. Maybe, no, it's going to cause too much noise. I think probably here, right? Be the best place for it. Yeah, okay. So, let's connect these guys up with water. Uh, 
Um, and then they're going to need a road connection as well. Let's have them up there. And then down here. Don't worry, we will um, we'll reconnect all these roads. All these paths, rather. Uh, okay. Let's just do that now before we forget. There we go. Um, and then underneath here. That just connects that back through there, and that connects it up there as well. Okay, I'm guessing these ferry lines aren't going to flow under these bridges. No, they're not. Uh, but we can remake them. Will it flow under any part of it? Under here. Yeah, so I'm going to have to remake those bridges. I'll tell you what, guys, I'll do that off camera rather than you watching me fiddle around with um, making all these bridges. But I'll do that off camera, so I'll be ready for next episode. Uh, but I think it'd be quite nice to have all these ferry stops and have boats running up and down here as well. Um, it's been something I've been wanting to do for a while, so hopefully it'll actually work out all right now. It's probably a police station for these guys because they are moaning of crime around here in a few places. No one has taken advantage of our uh, new luxurious island just yet. Uh, let's have a little entrance up there onto the highway as well so people can come and go. Okay, so again, complain of not enough workers. And again, still no one using the ferry port. There is a ferry down here. And now they are complaining of noise pollution, aren't they? Okay, yeah, because they are right next to the ferry depot. Maybe we could put it... Uh, either way, it's going to be noisy, isn't it? Yeah, okay, let's delete that. And then we'll delete the one uh, down here as well. No, we won't delete that. We'll just uh, we'll just delete the line, and then I'll do a little bit of jigging off camera so we can get these uh, ferry ports in without any upsets um, to the kind of to the balance of order around here. But yeah, we've made a nice little bit of progress today, um, and I think we'll leave the episode there. So if you have enjoyed the episode, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is our vanilla City Skylines Let's Play. And there's also a couple of other series on the channel as well, including a Total War, Warhammer 2, which I'm aware we haven't done an episode of for about two weeks now. So I'm hoping we can maybe get one out this weekend. Again, the schedule has been way out of whack because of Destiny 2 Season of Opulence dropping. I've been very busy over on the Twitch channel, streaming a lot of that. Uh, and again, uh, if you are new to the channel, there's links in the description to my schedule if you're interested in when these episodes come out. And there's also links to my setup if you'd like to know what I use to make these videos. All my equipment is listed there. And again, if there is a link in my description to Twitch, where you can follow me there for Destiny 2, Borderlands 2 and FIFA 19, Xbox content streams. It's just nice, chilled out, chatty streams. It's nothing too serious. So if you've got some time to kill, definitely join us over on Twitch. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll speak to you all soon.